when you're exposed to fire, it creates a horrible pain, nothing but very superficial. Even when you expose five minutes to flame, when you think about it, assuming you didn't inhale, of course, the heat and your brain wasn't damaged, it's just like five millimeters of your skin that has been barbecued. But all your organs are fine, everything is fine. Just the pain is unbearable. And then your brain gives a signal of self-destruction. And then you start to generate edemas and everything. That was, that's your body, that's the immune internal physiological reaction that kills after burns. My work is very simple. I bypass those. And I do nothing else. It doesn't cost me a thing. I couldn't do, that's why I don't even have to charge. Okay, that's public. You can send me any fireman you want, any burn. I could also teach people in half an hour groups all over the planet, you know, some kind of emergency team in case there would be a nuclear blast, in case there would be something really bad happening. You know, I can teach firemen, but also volunteers, people how to heal burns because they could do it on a wider scale. They can be everywhere in every city where it happens. And this is also the most simple thing to be tested scientifically. You know, give me cells, we burn them, and, and we see the difference between the one the batch haven't been taken care of and the one have. And people will do exactly the same. And I guarantee someone who has been burned third degree, barbecued, they're going to give him mega doses of morphine and let him die in an hospital. I guarantee that person can play tennis basically without clarification three weeks later. No placebo. They didn't know. They didn't believe in any healer. They were children. Some were under one years old. Uh, that the results were absolutely extraordinary. There were several children that were not treated because the staff at the burn center didn't tell us. And, uh, of course, the normal reaction, the normal results for children with third-degree burns took place in that control group. In two severe cases, a fire burn, the two children died. And others, the third-degree burns didn't heal. They needed grafting. And in the treat treatment group, the children that were treated, there was no need for grafting. The wounds were healing in front of the doctor's eyes. People who have been processed by me just glow. They just glow not in an exceptional way. They have become normal. We just have lost the sense of what is being normal, the sense of normalcy. We should be alive all the time, at every minute of our life, and being happy and being useful and abide to our duty that should make us even more happy, being of service. Ten months ago, a friend of mine had gone over for a weekend, so I had the luxury of seeing what had happened to my friend after only a couple of days visit to Brittany um, and when she came back she was in such an incredible radiant healthy state upright and I just thought wow I have to go have some of that. <laughs> it felt like he was removing all the the pain and suffering emotional physical spiritual in all ways it was all being removed from me. I felt like almost something being, um, like, when he put his hands on me, it felt almost like some, some, like when you've got a syringe, like it sucks up, so it's like you're like sucking something out of me. Well, what I actually experienced was the sense of him giving himself totally to me. It felt actually like a seed uh, with the potential for growth that a seed has, but, and which could grow and expand and, and uh, enable me to be a fuller person. Another one that we did, which was a clinical trial, was on um, a virus, a, a herpes virus a shing called shingles. The results of this were equally dramatic. Uh, the people that wound up in our little study we're in New York. Philip was in San Diego. We were in San Diego. And the doctor called with people, two people whose wives were suffering terribly from shingles. So he gave me the information on the people, which is minimum, name, birthday, place of birth. And I said I would ask Philip for help. And I did. Within an hour, his report is written up, within an hour the pain and the itching was subsiding. Within three hours, it was virtually gone. The next day, they were like astounded. Dr. Ronald Santoserizo, 
medical director, Sedona Holistic Medical Center in New York, documents two cases of shingles on women patients who healed overnight after Philip Savage's distant treatments. Pam, age 48, suffered from shingles six times and knew well the pain and itching that accompanies this disease, often for four to six weeks. After subliminal treatment from San Diego to New York, she woke up with no itching, no pain, and to witness the scabs almost shrinking before her very eyes. Mary reports that her two-year-old daughter was immediately healed from an outbreak of shingles by Philip Savage after a 20-minute local subliminal treatment. Mary herself broke out in a shingles rash with severe pain and itching. This was completely relieved after a five-minute distant processing by Savage. This treatment was observed and videotaped by medical doctors and researchers at Scripps Clinic in La Jolla, California. If only you could have one sense more than you have, as I do, the way you see the universe, the way I'm seeing you, or this camera is so different. There is no difference between the atoms of the wall and your atom. Everything is a flux. Everything is a movement of energy all the time. There is no life and death then. There is a perpetual continuation. And naturally, there is no distance. The greatest secret of the universe. There is no time. All experiments in physics, but there is no time. Each time we put time to the test, it doesn't exist. And since there is no time, there is no space. Space, time, it's one single continuum. Actually, there is no reality. That's why it's so easy for me to surf, to switch between this multiple dimensional multi-reality universe and make things impossible happen. They were impossible in one little reductionistic reality. But in another one, they were so simple to organize. You could do it, anyone can do it. I just happen to be the one right now with a key. Now, Dr. Savage has prepared me sufficiently to be able to deliver this processing with, with clients with healthcare issues, um, but not animals. We have someone specifically who takes care of animals. And in a death crisis, then they, they go to Dr. Savard. What I'm witnessing is whatever is unique. The qualities they have are enhanced. The deepest, truest aspect they may have, may have or may not have encountered in their lives is what surfaces. A cleansing of dead wood, if you like, on every level. It really, on mind, body, spirit, every level seems to go through this cleansing and I've witnessed this now happen with so many people two of which were people who were dying and who aren't now. I'm a medical doctor of internal medicine in practice since 1983 in Montgomery, Alabama. Mr. Crump had been a patient of mine for over 20 years. In 1991 he was diagnosed HIV positive. According to Mr. Crump's laboratory history, his viral load fluctuated between 7,025 and 97,000 copies. In the spring and summer of 2004, tests show a dramatic decrease to less than 50 copies. There has been little or no significant variation in Mr. Crump's medication regime for the past two and a half years. Dr. Lawrence T. Williams, November 3, 2004. When he went back after um, receiving Phillips processing, he had two independent labs to test on his viral load. And his viral load report came out with this significant decrease from 37,000 down to less than 50 copies. That's astounding. You're healthy when you're happy, you're happy when you're on duty, when you are one with the divine and with yourself. To me, that's the definition of health. It's a proactive and what I've called at one point healthening, which means a dynamic of health. Not just being perfectly sound, powerful, young also. I mean, what are those free radicals? Who said we're supposed even to die? We die because we have too many and we have lost the key. But that's not necessary at all. It's a way by which nature is getting rid of too many.